This is the uh, Lexan 9mm bullet test. This is uh, what it looks like when it hit the front of the box. See a nice little 9mm hole right above the F and below the G. And this is uh, two pieces of glass and four sheets of about 1 16th inch thick Lexan. A uh, 9mm bullet does not appear to have uh, gone all the way through the first sheet of Lexan. The piece of glass is absolutely shattered though. This is where the 9mm uh, lead hit. That's the first sheet right there. You can see the copper core in the Lexan. Move that other sheet up. No, no. Move, there you go. Yeah, move that one out of the way. And move that other one up. Okay. Yeah, there's the, uh, the copper core. Then it it, uh, it it got stopped in the in the first. Actually, it stopped in the second sheet completely. Didn't make any penetration through. The The hole on the left is a 357 Magnum, which went completely through the Lexan and out the box. The hole on the right is 40 S and W, which also went completely through the Lexan, but did embed in the back of our test weight, is where the bullet ended up. So, and this is uh, how many sheets is this? Six. Six sheets of Lexan. Almost, six inch. almost uh, 600 thousandths of an inch thick. Wouldn't stop it. That's why cops don't use 9 millimeters anymore. This is our 40S and W that we treated from the weight after it had gone through the Lexan. It's basically what the bullet looks like and what the hole looked like from where we took it out of the weight. That's pretty hard plastic into basically like concrete substance that the weight's made of it inside. That plastic was tough. We had to cut it out with a knife. 